Hello, dear one. I'm here at Sage Ranch, and um, I had some some thoughts about the interweaving of the dimensions, and specifically about 4D, 5D. Um, today, uh, I've been having some circumstances where it seemed like. Um, as it, one way to take it would be that somebody uh, said something to me and that uh, that caused me to to feel like a pain and physical pain. So it it seemed like there was a cause and effect situation going on, where somebody a couple of times said something uh, regarding like illness or like that, and. Uh, and I suddenly felt that illness or that pain, you know what I mean? So I was thinking those things over. And um, I think that that between the fourth and fifth dimensions, there's it's as if they were... Um, so you could look at this landscape here. Uh, and if you're careful, at first you could see the whole landscape, right? But if you pay attention, you could see just the trees, or you could see just the rocks, okay? There's a whole, like, pattern of rocks and a whole separate pattern of trees, but it's one landscape. Do you know what I mean? Um, and in the same way, uh, you could imagine, for instance, uh, a placemat, and uh, uh, the placemat might be this universe. and. Um, there might be strands of red thread woven into the placemat and strands of blue thread woven into the placemat. And the strands of, of red might actually be viewed as one separate network of, of red strands and the strands of blue as a, as a, as a separate, a different network that were somehow like uh, interwoven. Um, then, um, at the places where the strands of red join in this placemat, the strands of blue also join. So wherever there's a joining of the red, there's a joining of the blue, okay? And, and so now imagine the issue of fourth dimension, which is a cause and effect dimension, and the issue of fifth dimension, which is a synchronicity dimension, okay? Um, Imagine that the uh, the place the place on the placemat where the threads join is an incident in your life, and this and this incident can be viewed in two separate ways. It can be viewed red or it can be viewed blue. If you look at it red, fourth dimension, then what you've got is a cause and effect situation. Somebody did something to me. And if you look at it from the point of view of the blue threads, it's a synchronous situation. Somebody did something, said something, and at the same time, I felt something. A completely different uh, situation. These two, um, like, modalities exist on the same canvas, as it were. Like you're looking at this, um, um, you're looking at this landscape right now. And you're not separating out the rocks from the trees, but you could if you wanted to. You could think just rocks, you could think just trees. You could think just fourth dimension, cause and effect, and you could think just um, fifth dimension, uh, synchronicity and unity consciousness, knowing that all things uh, flow together and harmoniously, and that cause and effect is not really uh, operative in that dimension. So, um, so I urge you to look at the different ways you can view what appears to be happening in your life. It's all one life. I have one more, um, let's see, let me change the scene here. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, the sun, wow. Let's see. So, I have one more way of, of explaining that, um, that like inter interweaving effect. Um, today I went to play Mexican dominoes, Mexican hat dominoes. 
Mexican train domino, sorry, uh, with a group of people, a new group of people. And before I had learned to play it, and, and, the, and I had learned the rules of the game for the people that played it at a different location, okay? And so I went to this game today thinking that I knew the rules of Mexican hat dominoes, okay? But when we got to the end, to the scoring, I found that instead of counting the dots that were left on my dominoes that, were, that I had left on my like board, um, instead of using that to score, they had a whole different rule of um, when it, if there was a blank like half on your domino, it was it cost counted twenty five points against you, and if you had two blank dominoes, it counted fifty points against you, which was very very bad. <laughs> Whereas at the other place, the the blanks counted not at all zero. So. Um, in, in looking at this situation that's been happening today, uh, you know, and in addition, I should say that, that it's all Mexican hat dominoes, you know. It's just different rules in, in, in different um, situations. This, and in the same way, what we're looking at in our lives is all our life, you know. But when we look at it in different, like from different points of view, we see the different rules that apply. And, and for instance, in the fourth dimension, where somebody does something to you and it counts against you, uh, um, it's like this, this counting of the blanks, you know, 25 or 50 points. Um, and so something bad happens to you, right? You might even lose the game. You might even lose your 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 health or, or like that if you're playing by that system or you just might lose the game of life right but if you if you're looking at the same game from the point of view that the that nothing that zero is zero then nothing is counted against you your score is much better you know your score is fine if that's what you have left so so it's the exact opposite same situation, the exact opposite rules. And that's what I have for you today. I wish you a pleasant day, a chance to walk in the mountains, and I'll talk to you all later. Um, hope you, your karma's unraveling just free as a bird and, you're, you're, and the light is coming in and, and the light is the important thing and not, not what other people do and what other people say, but your own light. You know what I mean? That's what I'm working on anyway. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Say, take a look how something that looks dark changes into something that looks like it's light. Check this out. Kind of cool, huh?